Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and this is going to be a video that's going to be explaining how I've got the uh, system hook up, hooked up to Mechanum. This is mostly in response to a thread over on Reddit, which I'll post a link to, which uh, goes through how to get the uh, animation system threaded correctly, but since this is a little bit of an involved process, I thought that a video would probably be a lot easier than just posting screenshots or a wall of text. So, here's what I've got, and this is a work in progress of the game that I'm working on, but I'm going to give you a bit of a demo to show you how it works first. So let's let it load up first. Now this is a little bit different than the example provided in the thread, which again I will post a link to, in that the uh, thread does look like it's using the uh, two-dimensional blend trees in Mechanim. So this is a little bit of a departure since it only uses one, well, two nested. But as you can see, I'm pressing over and it's walk, it's uh, running, pressing over, it's running, and it's following. However, holding down shift will trigger, or should trigger walk. Okay, that's not working right now. I'm going to have to look into that. That's probably just a disabled action. All right, but here's the important part. As you can see, He's walking, and he's walking in the direction even though he is pointing. Now this took a little bit of research and a couple uh, custom actions that I'll link to on the uh, link to in the description. One of them is called Get Signed Angle. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. All right. So in here there is a the uh, Fox Soldier character who's got an orientation control system. This only has a system that will basically, when you're pressing the mouse button, it will then face the face where you clicked. And if you're not using the mouse button, it'll just go in the direction that you're pressing, which is a st based off of the standard third-person controller that the uh, Houdon Games tutorial goes through. But if you want to take a look, it's um, it's fetching the from the player's monitor system whether or not the left mouse button is clicked which is a variable it's a bool and it's not the actual um, it's not the actual mouse button action because as you can see here it's got the uh, get mouse button now this is the monitor system that I've got set up here is mainly so that I can keep all of the uh, systems that I know I'm going to have to fetch like going back and forth and trading variables and such in one separate FSM. Now these are, this is still a work in progress as you can tell because this game hasn't shipped, but it's getting a lot closer every day. So it has this variable, it stores in the left mouse button, and any action that needs to access it will be able to go reach into the player monitor system and grab it. Now this is also where I've got the uh, pausing system for the skill menu. This is again also a work in progress because there are some issues that I've been finding such as registering but that's a separate issue. All right, so now that I've got this information, there's also another, since the uh, player object, the player object, as in the parent, this doesn't rotate at all, period. All that it does is it just moves in the direction that needs to go in the right uh, direction. And I'll be going through a different system. This, this will be explained in a different video when I get to it. But the, uh, the compass, it has an orientation, and it gets the orientation. So this is using the um, get FSM vector movement. Yep, this is um, basically the uh, compass is always going to be pointing in the direction that you're pressing. So if you're pressing down, it's going to point down. If you're pressing to the left, it's going to point to the left. And it's using the uh, smooth look at instead of the look at because it's just it's nicer, I think. <laughs> All right. Now, how did I hook that up? Easy. Uh, let's go into the Anim Mechanism system. And this is where the uh, Get Signed Angle action, which is a custom ac custom action, it's going to be getting the, uh, the compass. It's also going to be getting the player mesh, and it's going to compare them, and it's going to result the uh, difference in the angle and send it to the DIR value uh, variable. And from there, I'll send that into the animator float. Uh, using the uh, animator actions. Now the animator actions in Playmaker are stock at this point if you're using the most recent update. So let's take a look at the Fox Soldier and take a look at what's going on in here. Alright, so let's get a bit bigger. Now the reason why this is incredibly beastly right now is because this is the indie version and I needed to find a way of um, getting past the limitation where you couldn't um, use uh, synchronizing between different layers. 
I'm sure if I had the Pro version, I wouldn't have to go about it in this type of way. But as you can see, the direction, the direction is going to be feeding a value, and that's using a um, And I've got it set up with the uh, walking forwards is zero. So therefore, if you're walking forwards and you're looking forwards, then basically the delta angle between the uh, compass and the and the uh, the compass and the mesh object that's holding the uh, animation system is pretty much zero. So it'll then say, okay, there I need it to be uh, zero or 359. Now, I could have gone just 360, but I thought, you know what, it's probably easier just to go that way, because it's, chances are this is going to be anything greater than 300, well, this is more with the whole line thing. And as you can see, it, it does work. Now, there is a trick, however. When it comes to getting the animations ready for this, you do need to make sure that there is a dominant leg in each segment. So, for example, say going from frame 0 you'll notice that it's the right foot that starts moving forward first. And I'm just going to pause it now and bring up another one just so I can show you the uh, walking backwards because it's just so that you can keep in mind. So it swings forward on the first section. Now I'm going to switch to the other file. Alright, and here's the walking backwards animation. And as you can see, the uh, right foot is making the first main action. The reason why you want to do this is because when you blend it, it's when you blend the uh, animations between, um, when you bl use a blend tree or you're blending animations, this is going to get technical and I'm sure I'm probably not going to give it the best description that is there. But let's take a look. Oh, yeah, and uh, that's the way that I've got the character set up, so. Now this is the walk cycle with the knife, but as you can see the legs are what we're looking at. So as it's blending, you'll notice that the uh, the legs are all kind of working in one direction. Reason being is that if you have the if the uh, animation is not in sync in one of them, you'll kind of get a little bit of a kind of a hop where he's going to hop and kind of do a bit of a jig it kind of breaks the immersion but the easiest way of fixing it is to make sure that you've got the um, there is one dominant leg in all of the segments now as you can see this is pretty much the same for the uh, handgun now let's drag it this way Okay, now I'm going to also do my best to see about putting up a little bit of a write-up and explaining it. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to ans ask them how, either here or on Reddit or maybe even on the forums that I've got on my website, which I've got now. Yes, I have a website. <laughs> and it's actually starting to shape up really nicely. But that's a, that's a, that's a different topic for another time. All right, so next thing. Alright, okay. Now the reason why I've got this is because since the delta angle is giving us an, the uh, difference of the angle between the two, I had to feed it into the uh, float called direction. Now in the mechanism system setup that I've got, I've also got it feeding in the detail so that it can determine whether or not it's walking or whether or not it's uh, moving, and that's where pretty much the rest of these are in here. But the two main things that you're going to want are the delta, U the get Euler delta angle and set animator float. I'm going to guess that I could probably turn the rest of them off and the walking shouldn't be detected, but since this is also handling the uh, the anim animation mechanism system that I've got in here is just grabbing the data or sorry, it's just feeding the data in the variables that it has to mechanism. That's all that it does. And of course, a little bit of math here and there, but that's pretty much it. 
All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. You can uh, reach me either here on Reddit, uh, the Playmaker forums, Unity forums, or on my website. I'll post links there in the description. And even though I know that this isn't necessarily going in too much detail on how to actually construct it, this should give you a, get a bit of an idea as to how it is done. Now, everyone's system is going to be different, everyone's going to be unique, different challenges and such like that, and this probably would not this may not necessarily work for a game if uh, you don't have this particular um, control system set up because when I created the game I created the prototype without any mesh information and it was just gray boxing and when I got to the point where I was working on integrating the animation I came up a decision I could either try and work around what I've already got or I could scrap what I've got and go from scratch since the thought of having to go back and redo it from scratch was one of those okay I really don't want to do it kind of things because that would be like a couple of weeks if not a month of downtime or lost time I thought you know what I'll work with what I've got I'll try and work around it and it seems to work and it's... but other than that I hope you have a great one and I'll catch you at another point another time another day so yeah have a great one oh and if you like this video feel free to comment it comment on it or rate it however you like and if you really like what I'm doing here subscriptions are awesome I know that I've been kinda lacking lagging on the posting of the videos things but as you can tell I've got quite a lot of things going I'll give you a quick little demo well not really demo I'll just gonna show you what's going on this is the setup system this is the monitor this is the mechanism integration Weapon selector, uh, that's ugly, but it works. The weapon tracking system, pretty simple, straightforward, and everything else. It's I'm at this I'm at the point where I'm pretty much a hair's breadth away from being a hair's breadth away from being able to release the alpha version, which will be the uh, first phase of testing. But I'm rambling at this point, so I'll catch you at another time, and I hope you have a great one. Bye.